Hi guys, in this video we're going to see how to filter specific data from a table with SQL. And I have here the drivers table which contains all Formula 1 drivers. This is the data, we have like 848 rows. And the structure of that table, if you look at drivers, all fields are of type text. Right, so let's get started. Let me go here over here and let's start with the SQL. Let's call all data and that is select all from um, drivers and that's all drivers. Now there's a way to uh, limit the amount of data I'm getting or the amount of records I'm getting. Currently I'm getting 848. I, I can limit that data set to a specific number with the with the keyword limit so limit 10 would reduce that data to 10 limit 5 to 5 and so on so that's one way of reducing that by the way limit works in SQLite it works in Postgres and uh, in SQL server uh, it you have to write your query differently and uh, you gotta write it like this select and then top, and then the number, i.e. 5, and then, you know, star from drivers. So that's the difference in uh, SQL Server. Um, it's basically the same principle. It's just that you've got to write your query differently. And obviously here, if you put in top 10, then you would get the top 10 and so on. And the top, the top, the keyword top comes right after the word, the keyword select. Whereas here in SQLite, uh, the limit comes after finishing off your whole query and then you set your limit to 5 or 10 or whatever. Right, now if I need to, let me get all data back. If I need to filter, uh, I need to state my, my condition. And by the way, let's state it here in, in, in just a normal English. Let's say I need all drivers whose uh, first name is Nick. And, and that is not SQL, and I don't want to have this code or this text um, you know, executed when I execute my query. That's why I'm going to comment it. The way you comment in SQL is with two minuses, and that's a comment right now. Right, so um, how, do I, how do I create this filter? Where? Well, first of all, all drivers whose first name is Nick. Where's our first name? First name is in the field for name. So here I say, I use the keyword where, and now for name, that's where the first name is located. And what's it gotta be? It's gotta be Nick. So it's gonna be equal to, and Nick is a value, and I have to put that within single quotes. And the what, why should I put it in single quotes? Well, because all my fields are of type text. And when you have fields of type text, the values, you have to put them in a single quotes. If I had numbers, I wouldn't need single quotes. But uh, currently, with all fields are of type text, hence I, I need single quotes, and I put it like this, Nick, and close that. And now if I run that, I get one guy called Nick Heidfeld. Okay, I can keep the query and just name, change the uh, first name to Joe, and now I get five drivers whose first name is Joe. So that's the way you can do it. We can try another field. Let's say, let's take ID. And let's give it ID 100. Again, the 100 is also of type text. That's why I have to put it within uh, single quotes. And I get this guy. Now, if I say here smaller than 100, then I'm just getting these two. Now, why am I getting these two? Because again, the, the field uh, ID is of type text, and thus the only uh, values smaller than 100 are the values 10 and 1. Because what it does, it takes those alphabetically before 100. It does not see that as the number 100, but sees that as the, you know, the three digits 100, okay? And if I say, smaller equal to 100 then the 100 would be included or the 100 and the same goes for greater than then we get all alphabetic all ids alphabetically after 100 and that's like two three and so on and greater equal i would that would include the um 
the 100 and then not equal 100 that we will get everybody like 847 rows because the one of them would be the 100 that would be kept out of the of the filter right so that's one way uh, that's how we filter now obviously we can combine multiple filters and the way to do that is like this let's let's write it first in plain english all drivers whose first name is joe and uh, are french or come from france put it this way and come from france right now how do i write that well first of all first name we know that that is four name equal to joe so that's done now and come from france now where's france france is nationality okay so i have to take the field nationality and here i have to use a keyword because and meaning and and then nationality equal to and now i have to see how are how are french people represented here in the field nationality uh, it makes no sense writing in france because there is no uh, france in the field nationality we have french japanese finnish but we don't have no france so if i run that i'm gonna get nobody like you see zero rows return so that's why i have to i have to always um let me let me remove that first get them all what i have to do is i have to get all i have to um, um orient myself to what's in the field nationality and you see in the field nationality we have french or swiss or swedish so france doesn't make any sense here i have to write in french and then i would have this one guy who um fulfills both conditions and that's that is the effect of and when you use and all the data that you get has to fulfill all conditions and that's why with and the more ands you have the less data you get because all data that you get has to fulfill all these conditions okay uh, the converse is true with or if i use or then the data i get in my data set would be would would have to fulfill only one of these conditions so now i would get all french guys plus all guys whose first name is joe because all of them fulfill just one condition let me try that out and you see here i'm getting 77 rows that means this guy here for instance is not his first name is not joe but he's definitely french and if i roll down there this guy is joe but he's not french he's austrian so you see each data set has to fulfill only one of the conditions obviously there is somebody in here who fulfills both and that would be joe schlesser we had previously who is whose first name is joe and he comes from france so that's the way you combine multiple filters is with either and or or now let me let me do a more complex condition or filter let's say all drivers whose first name is joe and come from france or whose first name is patrick and come from um france how would you do that now the best way to do that is to break this uh, uh, filtering or this, this, this query into uh, certain blocks. So the first block is whose first name is Joe and comes from France. Okay, so I just, you know, this is the first block and I enclose it in parents. And now I come around and do the second block or, okay, or whose first name. So I open the second block and I again here for name equal to patrick in, the, in this case and again comes from france so again here nationality equal to french 
and close and close the second block. And you see here by uh, cutting up that complexity of that query, uh, by cutting up this, the complexity of that query into multiple blocks, using parentheses, you simplify your uh, filter and it makes it much easier to read. Now I can easily, you know, read that. I can see, oh yeah, okay, it's very much more understandable than, you know, leaving out the parentheses. And you can easily check if everything is right because you now here you can see this, uh, oh, sorry, that should be end. And yeah, and you can see now here that you can check how if that really works because you can see here that this and is only valid for these two within that block and this and is only valid valid for these two within that block and the or is valid for the complete blocks so that makes the the, the, the whole filter much easier to read than leaving out those parentheses right and if i run that we would get oh i'm getting i have an error here oh yeah of course i've misspelled for name Right now, if I run that, and there we go. Now we have a query where we have Joe and French, and that would be this guy here, Joe Schlesser. And then we have the Patrick's and French, and that would be these guys here. And these, this is the first, this is the second block, the first three, and this is the first block, and they're combined with OR. And that's the way you uh, build your queries in SQL. You use the keyword where, and then you combine your filters either with AND or with OR. And if you have more complex filters, you just break them down in, in individual blocks. And each block is then enclosed in parentheses.